What is up everybody? Chris from Team Aquascape. This was a project that Brian and I built last year. Today, we are going to be adding a second system just above it and make it look like one. You guys ready for this? Let's go. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I said, we are going to be creating another pondless waterfall out here and attaching it to this one, only visually, but it will be two separate systems. So what we're gonna do is here is the existing pondless waterfall. Headwater starts up there. We are going to be dropping the basin in just back behind it and then doing more of a lazy river woodland stream where the waterfall is starting back up over there. What we'll do is we'll come back in right in through here, find out where that liner is at, our spillway, and we're gonna pull all these plants out, drop our our six aqua blocks in here start throwing that dirt back up over there to create our berm we'll have to take out some of these plants the waterfalls will start up over there kind of twist and turn lazy river and then discharge into the reservoir here making it look like this is just a land bridge coming over the stream and then it continues down and through here so that's going to be the fun part is making the two system look like one we got a little bit of site prep to do and then we will start digging while moving rocks back we have JD himself, we've got Juan. We also have Chris and Luis out here, but we also have a couple of CACs. We've got Dave from Serene Water Gardens out of St. Joe's, right? Yes, sir. All right, and then we have Zach Watson, who you've seen on a couple of our videos from Site Pros down from Florida, the Orlando, Florida area. So we've got a full gang out here today and we're gonna make some killer progress. Should make light work of this Palmas waterfall, but only time will tell. I know Jack's in a great mood. Juan is always in a great mood, so let's Let's go. So we started excavation. As I said, we were gonna try and make the two systems appear as if they are one. This is the backside of the liner here. See if we can pull out some of this gravel. We've got liner all the way back and through here from this upper pooling area. So we're gonna butt that reservoir up right next to it. All in through here, we've got six small aqua blocks. That will be the reservoir for our system. That gives us approximately 100 gallons of available storage in the reservoir. It's important when sizing the reservoirs for the stream systems is you want to have approximately two times the amount of water volume storage as you would have the volume of water in transit at any given time. So if the system ever shuts off and the reservoir is full and all the water in transit flows down to the bottom, which it will, you overflow the basin and then to fill that system back up in the stream, you use half of that water and then you still have the remaining half still in the reservoir and able to allow that pump to function as it should. So we are working our way into the reservoir, then we'll get our geotextile and underlayment in, then our liner, then a little a bit more fabric and then we will get to putting the reservoir in and then rocking everything on top of that so we're in good shape we are in very very good shape super excited and this project is going to go off without a hitch i can tell Very familiar part in every Pondless Waterfall project. As you've seen, we have the hole excavated. This is where the reservoir is going. We've got our six small aqua blocks. We got our pump vault located there. And then our stream is going to run up this way and waterfall into an upper pool, twisting and turning down into here, kind of a Babley Brook style waterfall. And we will give the illusion that this is incorporated into that, or that it's all one system. So we've got, oh, did I cut the wrong one? Yeah. yeah. I did. All right, so we have done a lot since we last checked in. Here is our stream and waterfalls. We're just about ready to start rinsing it down. We're going to lay a little bit more of that dry stack flagstone over there as a little retaining wall to help support our berm. Back in here, Luis, Juan, JD are going to keep buttoning up the top of that waterfalls while I'm kind of cleaning this up in through here. we got a little bit of exposed foam that we got to rip out of here, get the rest of our lights in and hooked up, but it is coming together. It's about 4.15, so we're a little behind what we would normally be, but we also have a couple new guys on the project that you met earlier, Dave and Zach and just kind of working our way through that, teaching a couple of things to them, but also just kind of working our way, taking our time, making sure everything is super perfect. So it looks fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down, get the rest of the plants planted, get things rinsed, and we'll check back in. We'll be when water is flowing. Looks awesome, you guys. I can't wait for you to see it.
Here is the existing stream. Spillway ends right about here. This is the new gravel and then our basin for the new project for phase two, as we'll call it, starts right about here. Got a bottom waterfall built on top of it and just an awesome series of small cascades, twisting, turning waterfalls. I love the section up here at the top. Turned out absolutely incredible. Can't even see where the spillway is at. This backwater area gives it that serpentine shape, comes back around over that waterfalls there down so so cool the cool things about our job is always getting the verbal affirmations from our customers. So what better time and such a great customer to share it with you than Mike himself. So, so Mike, this is the second time now that we've done work for you. What do you have to say this time? Water features are kind of like drugs and they're kind of addictive. So when you, a water feature really makes you feel good. And when you get something that really makes you feel good, you really want to, you know, you want to get more, then you want to get more. That's why Chris and company came back. I'm looking over here because I'm looking at the tremendous work that they've done. Anyway, I got one last year and now I'm doing another one this year. And uh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised, you know, <laughs> you'll get another call next year. Hey, I want yet another one. But a, a shout out to Chris for sure. I'm really amazed at the great vision that he has to put something like this together. Water follows the course of least resistance. And it's, I can't imagine how difficult it is to plan something like this out. But Chris can look at a piece of property and visualize it and then come up with that, which is pretty incredible stuff, which also speaks to why some of the other folks that are coming up from all over the country to kind of learn the tricks of the trade from the master. We should call you actually the maestro. And a special shout out to the guys that actually helped out it was Dave from St. Joseph. I think it's Serene Water. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal guy. You had Zach from Orlando. Uh, Orlando. Yeah. And uh, and of course you can't leave out Luis and Juan and Jack. And those guys came in. They just did a remarkable job. It was like watching television only better. I get to see and I felt kind of guilty thinking, you know, I'm looking out my kitchen picture window looking at these folks and God, they think I'm kind of looking over their shoulder, but I, it was just fascinating to see them put this stuff together. That's why I think I've become addicted to, you know, your, your water features. So long story short, Chris, hats off to the maestro, and I appreciate you guys and hope to see you again back here next year. Thank you. What would you tell for our viewers out there that haven't jumped into having a pond or a water feature? What would you say to them? What does it bring to your life? Well, it brings serenity. What was it, Seinfeld? Serenity now. I walk out here and there isn't a day that I, the first one, you and Brian were out here the first time. You did such a remarkable job, always thinking about you guys, but it's so wonderful to, there's two big things going on. We come out here, we'll I'll have a cup of coffee, and it is, it's extremely serene. And the other issue is, it's great for the property and your property values go up. You know, it's a little pricey, it can be pricey, but it's, it's that investment is well worth the initial money that you put into it. And it's funny because right across the street, Brian did Mary Linda's. I talked to her today and she said, I said, how long ago was it Brian did that? And she said about 22 years ago. And Brian has been doing this for such a long time. I said, well, you know, do you mind if Chris goes, you know, takes a look at that and just uh, looks at, uh, you know, what was done 22 years ago and what you guys do today. And Chris, you know, it's word of mouth. So what happens yesterday? You guys are just finishing up. My neighbor down the street comes out and says, hey man, I like this. I want one of these. And he want, you know, got your business card. So I'm pretty sure you're going to hear from him too. I've had people come over here and they said, God, this is just like paradise. And that's not me talking. That's people that are you know, objective. And they said, this is really remarkable. So if you're thinking about a water feature, don't think about it. Do 
it because it is it's awesome that's awesome i don't know if there's a better compliment than hearing it straight from the homeowner themselves of course we love hearing your input out there but the man writing the check is always the one that we are searching for satisfaction first and foremost so mike you're the best thank you so much hey you appreciate guys you man you guys you're awesome <laughs> I and, I, and i know we'll be back oh. <laughs> hey i'm addicted i know we'll be back <laughs> i'm addicted so straight from mike and myself we wanted to say thank you thanks for following along on this episode it's been a real treat mike thank you it's been our pleasure you, you want to get this on camera <laughs> it's like wayne's world right <laughs> we're not we're not, <laughs> none of us oh my gosh well it's been such a blessing and thanks again to all you guys out there mikey yeah. thank you thank uh, you thank you thank you thing, yes you can edit this out if you yes. want but you guys are so positive and so happy to do your job i mean even after decades and decades uh, you know there must be a drug to this because whatever you're taking i want some it's called negative ions <laughs> negative ions negative ions that's uh, what it come is out and it's contagious too yep. you guys come out hey we're happy to be here this is great and you know it's catchy and you can tell by the finished product that you know i asked the, the folks to come up and up on the deck about 15 20 feet up and look and you guys were just actually like i was looking at yep. the finished product and it has to be such a great feeling of satisfaction to see that accomplishment i pushed papers my whole life and inbox outbox you guys have left such an impression on not only my family but people anybody that comes over cool everybody says it's awesome cool so really water feature way to go oh what a testament to live in the aquascape lifestyle thanks again so much for watching we'll see you next time Thank you.